The next step is attaching the spout to the area where you put the, the holes. Now my spout started off like this. It's just a, it was, it was thrown on the wheel and the whole bottom of it is flat. I need to cut that at an angle. If I put that on like that, that just does not work at all. So I need to cut into it with the fettling knife like that at a good angle and see how that works much better. Now that spout, that works pretty good, but I have one that's set up a little bit already that I think works even better for this form. Nice and wide, it just kind of flows into the form. I'm going to look at it really closely and make sure that it really fits. Yeah, and if you notice that I curved this to fit the curve of the pot. All right, now this side of it isn't curved as good as the other side, so I'm just going to do a tiny bit more right there. And that should be good. Yeah, that's fine. Now, I have to look at this many different ways. The teapot is definitely the hardest form to make. I'm going to look at it this way and make sure that the spout isn't tilted to one side. It looks good that way. I'm going to look at it this way and make sure that it's, uh, that it's up above this line or close to it. If I were to put this spout down lower like that, when I fill up my teapot with water, once my teapot gets to this level right there, all of that will just, the water will just flow out. So I want to make sure it's high enough above that.